Morning guys, I'm back again with my uh, weekly Terminator spam. Uh, but you'll all be pleased to know that I've pretty much finished the head now. Um, and it's probably going to be by far uh, the most modified bit of the whole Terminator. I can't think uh, there's going to be too much uh, more other than usual weathering type stuff uh, to be done on the on the rest of it. Um, so anyway, I just want to, I've reworked all of this um, chip stuff in the head here. Uh, so I just wanted to show you how that looks now it's all finished. Uh, first thing, I made uh, a new chip. Uh, made this one out of plastic, ABS plastic. Um, and I could actually have this chip all red because the only bit that needs to be conductive for the turning on and off bit is this end piece here that's covered in copper tape. Um, the rest of it is just uh, red and gold painted in between. Uh, this actually took quite a while to make, so I had to file it all by hand um, with a needle file. Um, so that took quite quite a long time, but I'm pleased with that. Um, so I'll just show you how that all fits together. So you might have spotted that this little cover has actually got now two screws going into it. They don't actually do anything, they're just more for show. Um, and for the threads on the other side to act as like a, a guide. Um, for it to slot it because there is a slight uh, curve on that that lid and it can't go anyway it has to go a certain way otherwise bits of it stick out and stuff so um, that's what those screws are there for um, now what I've done I've actually added uh, well I made this out of a piece of aluminium bar on the lathe at work um, I think in the film they call this the shock absorber cover or something but I recall that they take the lid off and then they have to pull this like piece out after it so I've made like I don't know my attempt at making that I know it's not 100% accurate but there you go um looks nice and shiny anyway and you can see where the chip goes now um this piece again I've remade if you recall I made the um if you look at my other videos you'll see I've made it out of a, a piece of aluminium torch a mini uh, aluminium torch that I bought from Tesco's and the shape was all wrong I mean I couldn't have made this piece to go inside because it was like more of a funnel rather than like a, a, a like a, a straight bottom to it and, and side walls so um, I remade that it's actually also using the same torch but the the uh, the reverse side of the piece I used so for the other piece I used um, the, the front of the torch where the LED goes uh, that's why it was like a conical shape this is the back of it uh, where it screws on to the main body of the the torch where all the batteries etc go um so i actually use that and and um there were some threads in here that you know it screwed on to so i had to uh lay those off as well to get a nice uh, straight edge in there but you can see that's come out quite nicely uh, nice and shiny as well um so i'll just uh plug it in so you can see um if you put the chip in as you probably have already seen The whole thing starts up. Okay, I'll just unplug that because we don't want that moving around. Um, you can see the chip in there, and you just reassemble the thing by putting the that plug piece back on. Um, let me get a closer look at that, and then uh, this piece back on top. Um, I haven't actually. I was trying to think of uh, good ideas to for something on this top piece to actually grab because at the moment it's a bit fiddly you have to get like these real thin pliers and tweezers and actually pull it up and I don't know I was trying to think of, it's not the end of the world I can I can just use those I mean I don't even know I probably won't ever hardly ever I've done all this and I probably hardly ever take it apart anyway um, but if there is something that anybody can think of um that i can put on this thing and so i can actually grab i don't want something like permanently sticking out like a screw or something i want it needs to be like maintain that sort of look but maybe something i mean i was thinking of magnets uh anything like that really but just something where it's a bit more user friendly to get this thing off because uh, unless i've got these tweezers it's just a bit fiddly um so yeah that's that um i showed you in my other vid all the bits uh, in the back. I've I've had a bit of a re redesign in the back there. I've I've tidied everything up a bit and put 
put some like double-sided sticky foam on for the Arduino here. I've left the uh, USB sort of out the back uh, accessible, so um, if I ever want to change the program on it, I can uh, I can do that easily just by taking. I mean, I'm assuming this, these pieces are just magnetic, and you can just take the back off anytime you want. Um, so that's why I've left it like that. Um, other than that, if if oh one thing I wanted to ask because I'd like I'd like I mean at the moment I'm just filming this on my phone um, and my phone has got a basic um, video editor on it which allows me to uh, trim length of video um, but I'll, I'd like to make some of these videos with some pictures inserted I know you can, you can use stuff on the PC I've, I've, I think I've got some uh, video editing stuff on my laptop but I don't really want to go to task of firing all that up in creating a whole project and just to insert pictures. So if anybody knows any decent free apps that allow you to edit videos uh, and add pictures and things like in, in the video. So for example, if I wanted to say, uh, look, I made this and then stick a picture in there to to show like more detail, um, allow me to actually do that. Uh, so if anybody's got any ideas, um, that'd be great. Uh, other than that, if anybody's got any questions, um, on this if anybody's thinking of doing something similar themselves I can give you some help on how I did it it's not really that difficult it just takes a lot of uh, a bit of hacking around here and there um, thinking outside the box a bit uh, it's not something that's plug and play or something that I can make for people to buy off me or as a mod because it's, it's just too just too too fiddly too much like custom work cutting and, and stuff to get it all in there um, but I can certainly give people some tips or better explanation of what I did um, and if you want me to make a video with all of this off so you can see all of the, the workings behind it I can do that um, so yeah uh, let me know anyway thanks for watching